So the ulama, the scholars, when the month of Sha'ban comes, they open their Quran. And the month of Ramadan, we all know the month of the Quran, Shahr al-Quran. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is the month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran. Shahr al-Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. So why Quran? Let's learn today why Quran in particular. Because it's a guidance. Allah says in the Quran, verily this Quran guides to that which is better. So, inna hadha al-Quran yahdi lillati hiya aqwa. It guides you in times of darkness. They had a research recently about people who are most consistent on the religion and they pray every day and they are practicing Muslims. What is the reason behind that? So they found out that if these people who are consistent and steadfast on their religion, they have two things. The first thing that they have a daily portion from the Quran. They have the, we call it word in the Arabic language. They read their daily portion from the Quran. So the second thing they do uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in private. They have a secret act of worship. That they have a secret connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why Quran? Because it's a guidance. Why Quran? Because it's a healing for the heart. It's a, it's a cure. It's a remedy, a healing for your heart. That's why when you listen to the Quran, when you read the Quran, you escape this world and you go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you find the serenity and the peace in your heart and you don't want anything else. You know when you have any hardship and you go and open your Quran, in the remembrance of Allah, the heart will or the hearts will find the rest and the peace and tranquility. Why the Quran in particular? Because the Quran is a living miracle. You read in the Quran about the heaven, and you read about the earth, you read about the planets, the galaxies, you read about the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he spoke about, the, mir the miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down to the Prophet more than 1400 years ago. It's a miracle that we have in our, heart, our hands. And nobody can match the Quran and can bring anything like the Quran Allah says. قُلْ فَأْتُوا, فأتوا بِسُورَةٍ مِنْ مِثْلِ Bring just one verse from the Quran, like the Quran. People were not able to bring anything like the Quran because the Quran is the book of Allah. Why Quran in particular? Because the Quran is the source of, law, of life uh, to the soul. See, we are created of two components. The first component is the earthly component, which is the dust. We're created from dust. This is our body. But we have also the soul that is actually is not an earthly component. It's a heavenly component. It's from the heaven. And to nourish the soul and to uh, nurture the soul, it needs something from the heaven. And this, as we said, the soul is from the heaven. It's something from Allah. So how to nurture the soul? We need to nurture the soul in the way we, need, we nurture our bodies. How to nurture the soul? Is by something from the heaven, which is the Quran. That is why Allah says, this Quran Yahdi guides to that which is better. That's why it's very important in the month of Ramadan to stay home as much as you can and read your Quran and open your Quran and learn about your Quran, the words of Allah. Read your tafsir. If you don't have tafsir, read the translation. If you don't know how to read the Arabic language, the recitation of the Quran. Read the translation of the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for, for sure. إِنَّمَا الْعَمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ That actions depend on the intentions. I want you to open your Quran in the month of Ramadan. Why Quran in particular? Because so many blessings in the Quran. Because if you read one letter from the Quran, you will get a good deed, one hasana. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply this good deed to 10. And you never know, it could be up to 700 times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for every single letter. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, I don't say alif, lam, mim, one letter, but alif, which is one letter. He said lam is another letter and mim is another letter, which means you say three letters, you get three good deeds, and then every good deed will be multiplied up to 10 times, and then up to 700 times. You don't know when you're dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the most generous and He will give you generously, inshallah. So stay with the Quran in the month of Ramadan. Take advantage of the beautiful and blessed month of Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.